Hey kids, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO DC Comics Superhero set. The Green Lantern vs. Sinestro. Sinestro? 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 How do you say that? Tell me how to say that. Anyway, 76025, 174 pieces. Pretty small um, set, but we do have the new Super Jumper piece. Uh, I've actually built a set with that jumper piece, and it's kind of overrated, to be honest with you. But, you know, gotta keep some things new and experimental. All right, so we have a comic book in there. It's pretty cool, and I think that's the set that um, that I had that super jumper in. It's the one with the Wonder Woman's invisible airplane and the gorilla grood all right we have the main instruction book we have space batman's little wings kind of on this little plastic sheet that you have to punch them out all right and two unnumbered bags a lot of green in this set Of course, we have a lot of this trans fluorescent green color as well. Whoa. Whoa, making a mess. Those were not all the way out. A couple more bags here. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen that sloped piece in a trans color. All right, let's get this going. So we start off with our space Batman. So we've got the new Or so, and we have this clear neck piece that has two studs on the back. I don't know if you can see that very well. And the space head. So I guess this it has a breathing apparatus of some sort. And we have a little jet backpack, but before that, we have to put on this little wing piece, which it was folded in half, or not all the way in half, but it was folded, rolled up a little bit in the box. So this stud piece, these little handlebar things actually hold it on the back. So I'm going to turn it around to where the wings are kind of facing the front. That kind of makes sense. But you can see how it was curled up in the box. That's just the way it came. So I guess I can try to reverse fold it. But it'll probably stay in that rolled up shape for a while. Nothing I can do about that. So the other cape piece I guess is for when he's not flying. And then he has a additional head that you can switch out. And this is the little clear super jumper piece, which I'm not gonna mess with right now.
Next up is Sinestro. Sinestro. Sin. Sinestro. Tell me how to say it. Somebody Stro. He has black hair that is slipped back. There's his hairpiece. And he has a pretty cool little Chima blade weapon here. Next, last minute figure, it's Green Lantern. There's his head, where's his torso at? There it is, it was hiding. Found it. All right, so there is Green Lantern. He has no weapon. We are gonna bring, build his uh, spaceship. That's his weapon. But first, we need to build some sort of structure that has a lantern in it. How did that get all twisted like that? There we go. All right. Sorry about that. I had a building fail there for a minute. the side we gotta build something else This whole assembly goes on top of that curved little window piece. Now another little sub assembly. Attach 
there. I have this cool little printed dish. Put that right there. Next is another little sub assembly. the Green Lantern. And this just sits right in there. Doesn't snap onto any studs. Close that and fold this over. That more or less holds it in place. Now it's time for the Green Lantern spaceship. Pretty easy little instruction book. It's basically just one or two pieces per step. So there's not a lot of confusion as far as what's needing to go where. It's pretty simple so far. Could get complicated, but as of right now, it's pretty easy. Technic. There's not too much in the set, but we are hitting a little bit. That's the little afterburner area. Technic axle in there. the cool new stud launcher piece that's modified for a plate. So it's a one by two plate with a stud launcher on it. Don't shoot your eye out. That goes right here. We have same little build on the other side. Three of these trans fluorescent yellow studs, a modified stud launcher. So we put the trigger in. The trigger doesn't come installed, 
So you have to put this, the trigger on, attach a little sloped piece. That makes our two wings. Wheel back here connected to that axle, so you can see it turns those two Technic pieces in there. Getting close to the end here. Getting fewer and fewer parts left to choose from. So that makes it a little bit easier to build. Just as long as you don't do what I just did and put them in the wrong spot. Solid green cheese slope and then two trans green cheese slopes. A couple of these bow shapes with two more trans green slopes. Next is the slotted one by two slopes in a couple different shades of green. So there are no stickers in this set. I don't know if you noticed that. It's all been pretty much undecorated pieces and the few decorated pieces there are they are printed pieces, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, two of the spring-loaded fire missiles. slopes There's the main decorated piece right there on the front. Like I said, no print, I mean, yeah, no stickers, that's a print.
little bubble cockpit window there. And then we have our two rear fins. They just attach there and fold down. We have the two spring-loaded missiles. One, two, and the studs for the stud launcher. I wonder if they put these three on each side as extra ammo for the stud launcher, because you know once you once you launch one. You know, I caught it in my hand there, but they actually go pretty far, so they could get lost. Same with the, the spring-loaded missile launcher. So you can see both of them right there. And this little piece you turn on the back, remember I was showing you how you turn it? Well, on the inside, you see that white Technic piece moving. So as I turn it far enough, it'll actually hit that, that spring-loaded missile and shoot out. So that's the play features with the Green Lantern little spaceship thing. Let's go ahead and get him in there. There we go. He kind of leans back where the windshield can close does come with an extra spring-loaded missile and one extra one of the studs along with a few extra small pieces of other varieties but that is it for this set so we'll we'll do a little review on the string cheese and applesauce channel so check that out if you want to see some of the details but overall pretty easy little build definitely a, a cool little medium sized set if that's what you want so thanks again for watching make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already you kind of know the whole routine this is not your first time on youtube so do what you have to do and we'll see you next time